Hey guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to show you how to make images or text follow parts of your footage in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drag your footage into the timeline and I've already done this. And now you want to trim your clip to the part where you'd like the tracking to occur. So in my case, the clip, I want to use this entire clip, but you can do this by using control B to split the, split the clip. Um, and then select the one that you want the tracking to occur on. So we're going to undo. So have your clip selected. And now we're going to go over to Fusion. Well, now we're going to select Media In on the left. Press Shift Spacebar. And now in the search box that appears, search for Tracker. Select Tracker and click Add. Now we can see on the preview, we can see this Tracker box. You can adjust it by holding the drag and then put this box on the part of the image that you want to track. So in this case, we're going to track the logo on the hat. Now the outside rectangle is where the tracker will search for the object to track. And then the inside rectangle is the object it's tracking. So these can be adjusted slightly by clicking and dragging on the boxes. Now, please bear in mind, this works best with high contrast and you can adjust the contrast down here at the right uh, to make it easier to track if necessary. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit track forward, which is just up here. And as you can see, the tracker follows the logo and now the tracking for that section is sorted. Now we're going to move the timeline back to the first white mark on the timeline and then we're going to hit track backwards. And what this does is it means the tracking is complete for the clip. So now if we press play, you can see the tracking box follows the logo throughout our clip. Now what we want to do is add text or image. So in this scenario, I'm going to show you how to add text. Click on the empty space just here above tracker or anywhere in the empty space. Now click on the text icon. Now in the text box, enter the text that you'd like. We're just going to put Rob for this. Now we're going to go ahead and drag the green output from tracker to the text box. And of course we can't see the text right now. So to fix this, click on tracker, come up to operation then we're going to select the operation mode of match move. And now you can see the text is on the screen, but it's not where we want it to be. So if we click on text again, just here, we can now adjust and drag the text to where we'd like. Of course, on the right, you can also edit all of the text settings as usual to make the font look how you want. The exact same process is done with an image, just simply click the image icon. And now if we press play from the start, we can see that the Rob lettering follows the tracked logo that we wanted. So there you go, guys. This is super useful and I really hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.